I suppose I paint um, just because it's become my existence, for one. And why I started to paint would probably be because I think that most artists want to create their own unique world. And I chose to use paint as my medium to do that. I, I really love beautiful things and, and I just want to maybe make a little bit of beauty for this world. Create beauty for someone to look and see and feel. I guess that, that's what my goal as a painter would be. I don't think that I consciously um, look at something and say I want to make that a painting of that. I just kind of absorb my day-to-day -day life and really try to look at everything. When I look at a worn-out tire and when I look at a leaf, I'm just seeing form, color, surface, and I analyze it to transform it into something that I can later put in my art. I think of it as sculpture. It's kind of kind of take that all in and transform it into my own sculptural painting. I'm an abstract painter. Typically I work on between 6 and 15 paintings at a time and that would probably take me between 4 and 5 months. I think of my work in sculptural terms. I don't work as a typical painter. I mean I use brushes Rarely, and I normally work with a spatula and I, and I scrape and sand my surfaces to just build up. So in effect, I'm actually working sculpturally in, on a two-dimensional plane. Sandpaper is a really integral part of my work. I mean, sometimes I think maybe I should be called a sander instead of a painter. I've become so attracted and obsessed with my surfaces and I can get this really satin, beautiful, tactile surface by sanding thin layers and then just sanding each layer and overlapping the layer and sanding and, and then layering. When I started working with sandpaper, I had all this sandpaper with this, these beautiful colors of pigment on it. And I didn't know what I wanted to do with it, but I knew that I just didn't want to waste it. I mean, I tend to save the ones that are blocked off in colors. And eventually I, I made my first collage. <laughs> I have different favorite colors. I mean, I love green. I mean, I guess green would be my favorite color, but I love painting with yellow and... You know, I don't really have a favorite color. <laughs> I continually turn the canvases around, each of them, when I'm working on them. It's really important to me that the, the viewer become almost a part of the piece by choosing a direction of the canvas. Because in some of the paintings, the actual mood and feeling of the painting becomes completely different when rotated and it's a personality, I think, that, um, and, and I like that. I like that the viewer becomes a part of the piece and they're participating in actually the pain. I encourage that. I encourage the viewer to choose what direction that they want the painting to be hung. Because for me, when the painting's finished, it has to work for me in all four directions, in all four positions of the canvas. It's just like a different language. It's like, it's saying the same thing, but it's just in a different language. In a lot of ways, I think of finishing a painting like finishing a sentence or a paragraph or a part of my journal. And it's, it's completed with 
the forms and the color and the surfaces. But it's also finished when I know internally that it's honest and I'm not trying to convince myself that it's something it's not and it just kind of it just kind of falls into place. Essentially I think of my work as a diary and every day I go into the studio and I work on a piece of my art and I react to what I did the day before and it's just a constant reaction of what I previously did. I really wish I had a voice. I would love to be able to sing. <laughs>